Johnny Weir will be at the Paris Olympics doing the commentary for the closing ceremony. Of course, I had to ask him what he'll be wearing. We look live at Paris. We have continuing coverage of the Paris Olympics. Yeah, now this is pretty cool, right? So Olympic skater Johnny Weir grew up in Lancaster County, but has made his mark on the world. And you may know him for his stylish skating, but also his extravagant costumes. Yeah, and he's actually a part of NBC's coverage of the closing ceremony at the Paris Olympics. News 8's Susan Shapiro caught up with him and his mom at his skating academy in Chester County. On a scorching Sunday in July, Johnny Weir is keeping cool in a skating rink. And this is my happy place. It's where I feel the most comfortable, where I can really truly be myself. Good, Lizzie. The two-time Olympian now runs the Johnny Weir Skating Academy here in Downingtown in Aston. Left hand, Lizzie. He and other coaches do private and group training for skaters on all levels. Don't leave with that left shoulder. He's a really good coach. He has very funny, I would say, analogies to help you understand, like, what he wants to do with like your arms in a jump. When we land, twizzle, twizzle, twizzle. I finally felt that I had not only the urge to be a coach, but also that I was, mm, I was worthy to help craft the careers of young people because this sport, it's, it's mean, as is any sport. Nailed it! Weir is a nice guy who has excelled in the sport with his own unique style. He won national titles and competed in the 2006 and 2010 Olympics. I can't imagine anything ever topping that feeling of accomplishment and the feeling of having all of your hard work pay off and actually mean something. Weir grew up here in Quarryville, Lancaster County. He says he learned to skate on a cornfield that was frozen at the time. He started out as an equestrian and then turned to figure skating at about age 12. He credits small town living with helping him achieve success. I think that gives you the opportunity to imagine and dream about the great big world out there and what you can do in it. Johnny's a very, very unique young man. And he always is driven by passion and goals. It's like this exercise. That young man is now 40. The jump. He has okay. retired as a figure skating fan. performer and is the rare athlete who's made a successful turn to entertainment. He and fellow figure skater Tara Lipinski are popular Olympic commentators and analysts on NBC. Our rapport was instant and we bonded over real life things, not just the work. His costumes often say as much as his comments. I definitely think the fashion and the hair are a character all on, onto themselves. The pair will be at the Summer Games in Paris with their own take on the closing ceremony. The closing ceremonies is a whole lot of fun. It is the big party at the end of the Olympic Games and it's a celebration of accomplishment and having dreams come true. And what will he be wearing to the party? I'm wearing an American designer and my hair is going to have definitely a nod to France, French history. He says that nod Inside, will be big outside, with some behind. extra flair. Inside, Susan Shapiro, outside, WGAL News 8. Inside. And you can watch Johnny and the Olympic closing ceremony right here on WGAL. Coverage starts Sunday.